my job as a promoter is to bring in the bands and pay for their talent fee, pay the venue, pay for the sound and lighting engineers to run a show, pay for the advertising, pay for the catering rider, basically pay for everything and make sure that the show goes off without a hitch and take care of any problems that may arise and take care of any extra equipment that they may need and make sure that they have proper accommodations if that's needed. There's a lot of details and it varies from show to show. You can have shows that you have less responsibility and the bands come in and kind of take care of themselves and you can have some where the bands really need a lot of extra looking after and a lot of uh, extra equipment and extra uh, things on the riders. So depending on what kind of a band you bring in, you can have either a lot to do or a little to do. Well, when I do a show, uh, I make sure that I have the entire day completely clear because you you just never know what's going to happen. Uh, for instance, uh, when I brought in uh, one band uh, in the middle of the winter time, their bus broke down and uh, we found out about six hours before doors opened and I literally had to round up a bunch of friends with pickup trucks to go down and get them and they literally arrived just before they were supposed to go on. But uh, I, I always make sure that I have my entire day free and what I will usually do is call the tour manager and sort of re-advance the show and I purchase, I always purchase uh, the catering rider fresh that day so that if I get them for instance a deli tray or fruit or bread or something like that it's always really fresh and then I will get here and try and secure parking and make sure that the meters are all taken care of and basically just make myself available to the bands for anything that they need and uh, spend the afternoon fretting about if anybody's going to show up and uh, then once the show is underway I will sometimes do the door and eventually uh, if the show's going well enough and I have enough help I'll be at the front barrier for that headliner. The biggest challenges are weighing when you lose money on a show if it was worth doing it or not. And that gets into play with how well the band treats you. And also how well the tour manager treats you. And there have been shows where I have lost money where I was completely content to lose money because the bands were so great. And the tour manager was so great. And they went and told the booking agent that I was so great. And there have been shows where uh, Everything has been a complete disaster. I lost money. The tour manager was a, and the bands were sort of so so about the thing. And then I just go home and go, screw it. I'm never going to do this again. And so you, it's it's difficult when you're a fan doing this sort of thing. There's a, a lot of uh, sort of counterproductive emotions that can creep up uh, when you're doing this sort of thing. And really, therefore, you have to sort of put aside your expectations. In other words, you have to be prepared that the tour manager is going to be up. You're going to have to be prepared that for the bands, it's just another stop on the tour. And you kind of have to mentally prepare yourself that it might not be the greatest evening in the world for you or the bands or the TM but it sure will be for anybody that comes and buys a ticket. If you can actually make money in this business, that's a big reward, but that's not the, the reason I do it. Although it's nice to just have sort of the seed money replenishing itself for the next show. I mean, you don't, Anybody knows that they don't sort of get into a business situation where they they expect to continuously take it in the chin unless they really need a tax rate off. Uh, so, uh, but really, the the biggest reward are gonna are gonna be the faces of your fans afterwards, the people that, well, I should say, the faces of your customers afterwards, and whether or not they've had a good time, and especially when you're dealing with a club that's 
that's this small and when, you, when you're dealing with a scene that's this closely knit, I mean, one person coming up and, and shaking your hand and telling you that they had a great time can make up for a lot of revenue lost. And especially it, if you get that one person or that one email of somebody who drove 300 miles because they would never see such and such band. I mean, I just did a show last week where I had six people show up from Canada. They drove all the way from Winnipeg to see the show. And that's huge. And that's really rewarding when you think, hey, I did this. And it's, it's kind of fun to sort of sit back and you're watching everybody buzz around and you're watching the roadies set up stuff and you're watching the merch set up and you're watching the sound guys do their thing and, and, and you realize that you're sort of the spark that set this great big fire ablaze and that's a very rewarding feeling if you love what you're doing. If, if you're just hoping to get a big gate, you're not going to care.